Good morning everyone and welcome to another short tutorial, this time in English. I'm here in the area around Cologne, so in the western part of Germany, with my Canon EOS R5 and I have only one lens with me. That's the Canon RF 16mm with its widest aperture of 2.8 and today I'm gonna speak you through um, some settings I'm gonna use for nature photography and why am I using these kind of settings. I'm recording this video on the Insta360 ONE X3 and its internal microphone. If you have any questions regarding any settings, make sure to post a comment below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And now let's get started. Yeah, anytime I'm taking pictures, I do that only in manual mode because I have the full authority about all settings. I do have these kind of mushrooms here in front of me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm getting a bit closer to the action. In this case, I can still use an aperture of 2.8 to blow out the background. However, I will try to get some more background in focus as well. That's why I'm using a lower aperture. Um, and let's take an aperture of f4. These mushrooms are not moving, therefore I could use potentially a longer shutter speed. However, I'm gonna stick to let's say a 60 of a second and ISO 400 seems to be alright. Let's take another one from this side. If you find it out quite tricky to take some pictures using the manual mode of your Sony, Nikon, Pentax, Fuji or Canon camera, there's a big tutorial on my channel which is called Learning Photography for Beginners, so make sure to check that out. So this kind of scenery seems to be quite nice. The white balance is set to manual and I used now 5600 Kelvin. As you can see there's some light passing through the trees. There's the sun in the background but shortly it's gone because there are some clouds coming over. There's still enough ambient light available so I would use a lower ISO setting and I will close the aperture to have more things in focus. Right now it's a 60 of a second f5.6 which is the aperture and ISO 200. This seems to be quite nice, so I do have enough ambient light available, that's why I'm using now an aperture of f8, because the sun is shining quite bright. The ISO is... Um, let's take another one, let's take ISO 160, the shutter speed to an 80th of a second. Look at all these leaves here on the ground with the nice big trees in the background so for this I would change the focus field to a bright one to be to have everything in focus as you can see it's a bit dark what I can do is since this entire scenery isn't moving I could potentially use a longer shutter speed I could be like a 40th of a second I want to have everything in focus that's why I stick to an aperture of f8 and let's take ISO 160. This also seems to be quite interesting here with the tree at its base. Let's take a smaller aperture, let's say 5.6 to have, to have less things in focus. I would gonna use now a smaller focus field and with that 16 millimeter wide angle lens as you can see you get everything on this lens ISO 160. What I find quite interesting, you have so many trees here on this side, they are all green and just a few meters next to them, all of these trees are completely dead. And as you can see, green, dead. That's actually a super nice shot. Let's take a smaller aperture, 5.6, to have more things in focus. As you can see, it's still a bit dark. However, I'm not going to blow it up too much. ISO 100 and a shutter speed of a 200 of a second. I saw this bark here on the ground and it seems to be quite interesting to me so I decided to take a picture of that. I had moved my feet out of the field of view otherwise they're gonna be in focus. Aperture f4 
still enough light available let's take an 80s of a second shutter speed and let's see how it looks like this kind of scenery looked really nice to me because the the ground level is so clean compared to the other part here of this forest and we have only just straight lines of trees um, aperture 5.6 let's take a faster shutter speed let's say 50 of a second and let's push the ISO a little bit to 200 so let's take a close up here of this tree because this lens does have a beautiful bokeh so you need to use a fast aperture the smaller the number is the faster the aperture is f 2.8 now we do have enough ambient light so that's why I decided to take a lower ISO the lower the ISO setting the better the image quality and a 100 of a second seems to be the all right shutter speed and let's see how it looks like that is quite cute here with the small mushrooms at this tree in this case i'm gonna i want the background to be blurred out not completely so i'm using a aperture of f4 i'm gonna switch the focus field to a smaller one this seems to be quite okay since I'm holding this camera here close to the ground without a tripod, I'm going to use a 50s of a shutter speed and ISO 100 seems to be alright. That's also nice here with the leaves climbing up the tree, therefore I'm going to use a fast aperture 2.8. And let's see where the right spot seems to be. This one seems to be a right place to take a picture of. Um, you're going to use a 50 of a second and I'm going to push the ISO a little bit. Let's say 400. And that's how it looks like. Well, that is also quite nice. Look at all these colored leaves here on the ground and in the background. So these ones are more like orange to red and these ones are just green. Uh, yellow and with the green part in the background so I want to have everything here in focus f5.6 less ISO for sure let's take 160 and let's see how it looks like seems to be all right one in portrait mode as well cool enough ambient light is available that's why it's so overexposed the ISO is already at 100 f5.6 so I in this case I would definitely go for a faster shutter speed let's take 320 of a second and that's a cool picture I hope you enjoyed this short excursion with me here in a good old German forest taking some pictures using the manual mode of your camera it doesn't matter what camera you have the principle is always the same it's uh, the best mixture between the ISO the shutter speed and the aperture make sure to check out my big tutorial about learning photography for beginners here on my channel if you do have any further questions please do not hesitate to write a comment below make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok and see you very soon bye bye